1860, a vast area of wild, undeveloped country lay between the Mississippi and the new cities of the West Coast. With the Civil War looming and the fate of the Union at stake, fast communication between East and West became of vital importance. The only railroad from the East stopped at the Missouri River. It took 25 days by stage for mail to reach San Francisco. If sent by clipper ship, it took from 36 to 110 days. In April 1860, a daring new service began designed to carry mail from Missouri to California in 10 days, the Pony Express. The riders were boys aged from 12 to 18. One of them was a youth named Will Cody, who after many fabulous adventures became the world-famed Buffalo Bill. The trail of the Pony Express led for 1,950 miles through rugged mountains, over wind-swept mesas, and across parched deserts. At relay stations, front and riders were waiting, and the precious mail continued on. Could be worse, Captain. There was an express rider up on top of that hill and saw what was going on. He has to go right past the fort. you save my scalp. I know why you came. These wagons are carrying your rations, too. <laughs> <laughs> the grapevine says your orders came by last post. Where am I being sent? Only Major Walker can tell you that. I had hoped to be
be sent to the war front back east, Major. Yes, I know. We'd all like to be back there. But there's work to do out here even more important than fighting secession. Lines of communication between West and East must be kept open. The Pony Express, which is now carrying army orders. Stage and freight lines, which will bring gold from California to Washington. And the new telegraph, which is just being started. The Pony Express has been under special attack. Pony Express riders have been shot from their saddles without warning. Cold-blooded murder. Others have been ruthlessly roped from their horses while riding at top speed. Pony Express relay stations have been attacked. The attendant shot down and a horse has run off. The Oberlin stage is also attacked on almost every run. No road is safe. The outlaws control them all. Where do I enter into this? The War Department has selected you for a very secret mission. You're to be responsible for a section. You're to enter it as a civilian. And your mission will be to locate and identify the outlaws so they can be wiped out. Sounds simple enough. Yes, but we know it isn't. Our job is to hold the Union together, Jim, while so many other people are busy trying to tear it apart. What's my district? It's a depot for the Overland stage and a Pony Express relay station. And from there, there's a little side road that takes you into Nugget City. Well, I understand Nugget City. It's tough enough to keep a whole troop busy. Yes, it is. You know Dr. Army? Yes, sir. He was my scout last spring when we went after command. Oh, well, he's going to work with you. Well, I... Hello, Lieutenant. Hello, Doc. How are you? Fine. I told the Lieutenant all he needs to know. The rest is for us to find out. The uniform of the day is now buckskin. Thank you. Gee, I wish you wouldn't ride today, Bill. Two men have been shot. I'll get through all right, Linda. Don't worry about me. That's my job. He'll do it, too. He's faster and trickier than an engine. How I know that, Dad. But every day there seem to be more and more outlaws. Hey, here comes Haley now. Any trouble? Only the river. The rain last night made it tough to cross. Cody's got the bad stretch. Abra? Stop gaping down that trail. Let Haley come in and get something to eat. Your food's on the table. You better eat it while it's hot. He was only talking. You can gab after it's dark, when you've nothing else to do. But right now, you better get that wagon headed for Nugget City. Right away, Ma. Pop, now don't get all upset. You know she didn't mean it. You going to Nugget City, Lindy? Yep, I got some shopping to do. I'll get the boys organized before more starts acting up. We'll ambush him here. If he gets past us, you two stop him further along.
Michael Aravid. Boy, am I glad to see you. Hi, uh, Bill. What'd they do? Give you a rough time? Well, it could have been worse if you hadn't come along. Uh, oh, Bill, meet Jim Archer. Hi, Jim. Happy to know you. You with the express? Not exactly. Oh, a special duty from the Army to run down outlaws. Oh, I'll keep mum about that. And he will, too. You don't have to worry about Bill Cody. Thanks, Doc. Maybe I can help you later. Sure you can. Right now, I gotta ride with the mail. Ezra Graham. Meet Jim Archer. He's working with the Army, too. How do you? What are you doing in this part of the country? Looking for a job. Scott ain't so good with the Army since they're sending so many troops east to war. Ezra! And more. You remember Doc Laramie. Uh, oh. uh, Miss Graham, uh, meet Jim Archer, my uh, Howdy. Friend. You realize the wagon should have been back from Nugget City by now? Maybe Lindy held it up doing her shopping. Uh, more like outlaws held it up. The way things are going in this territory. She ain't changed a bit, has she? You mean she was like that when you married her? Worse. How'd you make out? We didn't, Denver. What happened? We had the Pony Express right at cornered, but help came and he got away. Hey, maybe there's something on that wagon that'll pay for our lost time. Black won't like that. He won't know about it unless you tell him.
of plenty, but I got through. Tell me about it. Mr. Norris, can I ride the next relay back to Grand? Oh, you do for a layover. I know that, but there's things going on there. Big things, and I want to be in on them. All right. Wasn't it? Yes. They took a strong box and it had gold dust in it. They headed toward Nugget City. Well, we better go and see what we can do. Hello, Grail. What brings you to Nugget City? The wagon was held up and robbed, Mr. Black. Gold dust taken. That's too bad. I had reason to believe conditions were improving. Uh, these are two new hands I just took on. Hurry. Hello. Hurry. One of my men was shot bad. We followed tracks that seemed to lead into town. Any group of four or five ridden in? No, just the usual coming and going. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks. If Black says the men ain't here, they ain't. He's our legal life. He's going to organize a town government. Say, there, where's a good place to eat around here? Yeah, uh, Frenchie. You go on ahead and feed, and I'll just do a little inquiring around. That was a fool play, robbing the Graham's wagon. It was a good job. An easy one, too. Got away with a couple sacks of dust, so I thought... You don't think. You mopped the Pony Express job. Then try to square things with a petty larceny holdup. What do we get out of the Pony Express but a bunch of letters? You and your men are paid to take orders. That's just what we're wondering, where all the money comes from. The outfit behind me are after big stakes. They pay well to have their instructions carried out. What outfit? Why all the questions? You want me to get somebody else? I'm satisfied. Well, then let's get down to business. Occasional rider is not enough. We've got to keep hammering at the Pony Express until they're crippled once and for all. Denver's here. He's got something. Hi, Denver. What's on your mind? I ran across an Indian between here and Graham's. He was carrying this message. For whom? He didn't say. Hmm. An army message. A shipment of gold is coming through from California. When do we go after it? When I say so. There are two angles to consider first. One is that this message should be in code, but isn't. So it might be a trap. The other is, if it is legitimate, it was meant for somebody here. That means the army may have a secret agent working here undercover. Now keep those two angles in mind when you go after the gold. Tell the men to leave town one by one and meet on the way. And don't fail again. We won't. Out this way. I carried it, but I got back fast, and I'm glad I did. I got something important to talk to you two about. The squad size and not so many years. I found an Indian between here and Grand, one of your scouts. Do you have a message? Yeah. Somebody else got it first. Before he died, he told me that a shipment of gold was coming through Eagle Gap from California, an ammunition wagon. And somebody else knows about it besides us. And I found this in his hand. We'll take care of this later. Right now, we're headed for Eagle Gap. Could I go? Well, sure. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be going. Come on.
after this wagon, you take care of the other. stranger doing in Nugget City. Will this attack mean an Indian uprising? Don't miss Captured by Indians, second thrilling chapter of Cody of the Pony Express at this theater next week. wagons bringing gold from California are to be attacked by outlaws, Cody and Archer ride to the rescue. They find one of the wagons already in outlaw hands. Get back. We need help with the other wagon. You moved in over there. Let's clear out of here. They're pulling out. Was there any gold in the wagon that blew up? No, sir. It's all in this wagon. And get your wounded men into the wagon and we'll escort you part way. Yes, sir. Where in tarnation have you been? A uh, hunting. Hunting? Last I seen you was headed for Frenchy for some meat. Well, we at? You at. Cody, aren't in the trail getting your horse ready help me. You boys are making it mighty rough for me. Ma's been a yammering at me ever since I get back from town alone. You think we better tell him? 
Oh, he's reliable, all right. All right. Tell me what? Well, you see, Archer is a lieutenant in the U.S. Cavalry. And, and we're on a hunting mission. We're, we're trying to find out who's at the bottom of all of these attacks on the Pony Express. I'll keep Mom. But what am I going to tell Ma when he ain't around here? Just tell her you'll pay us only when we work. Yeah, that'll help. But Ma will crack your style. She wants some freight hold to town tomorrow. Well, that suits us fine. She would like to do a little shopping for a vest that matches this button. Ooh, I got a nice two vest I can bet you have. Thanks, Ezra, but this vest belongs to a killer. One of my Indians was shot trying to deliver a message to me. Whoever intercepted him lost this button. Well, as long as you arrange your plans to suit malls, I, I guess it'll be all right. I'll be back tomorrow. Good luck. You lost three men and didn't get the gold. Another bunch of taxes from behind. You recognize any of them? I didn't get close enough. The stage coming in. Stage? It's ten miles off its route. I'm expecting someone, so clear out. Drift back in after the stage goes leave town. lost their shoes. I'll take a look at them. We'll be here a little while. It's a good chance to stretch your legs. I take it you're Mr. Black? That's right. Won't you have a seat? We'll dispense with the formality. What I have to say can be said quickly. The members of the syndicate I represent aren't very happy. What seems to be troubling them? You. The investors are paying for results, but they're not getting them. I can't wipe out the Pony Express overnight. Every time we knock out a rider, they come up with two more. We want action, not alibis, Mr. Black. I'm doing the best I can. Up till now, your best is not good enough. We want the Express wiped out permanently. Your syndicate that they can depend on me. We shall hold you to that promise. This will cover your current expenses. Thank you. Good day. Good day. The Indians in this district are far too peaceful. All ready, sir. Stick a friend of yours? I'll ask the questions around here. We've got to work and work fast. Echo, I've got a little job for you. You know the Indian chief, Great Cloud? Mm, we're on speaking terms. Can you make a deal with him? Like what? Destroying the relay stations? It's pretty hard to do business with. Suppose we offer him three rifles for every relay station he burns. Make it five, I think it's possible. Five it is. Dirt round up the men. I want you to ambush the Pony Express rider. This time, make sure he doesn't get to Graham's Corners. It's as good as done. How? Oh, How? Oh. Gray Cloud in Pecos Talk. Pecos Gray Cloud's friend. Men who ride Pony Express, not your friend. You burn relay stations? Take us, give you three rifles. Four. Five. Pico lie. Great cloud smoke, peace pipe with white men. Go.
Strider left for Graham's Corner? No, not yet. I have a message here for Jim Archer. It's urgent. I'll take it. Thank you. Get him out of there. be on your way. I'm a message for you, Jim. Something important? From Major Walker. The Indian scout that was killed was Great Cloud's son. I'll have to go. It's understanding. If this freight don't get moving, Ma's going to be sore. I'll ride the wagon. You just catch a nap while Doc drives. Thanks. bring you bad news. Little Bear is dead. Who killed my son? I don't know. The man who killed him lost this. You must give me time to bring him to justice. White men talk much justice. No, great heart. Little Bear was my friend. You must trust me. Cloud? Yeah. What did he say when you offered him the rifles? Well, he told me he's at peace with the white men, then threw me out. So he's at peace with the white men, huh? Well, we'll soon change his mind. Round up some of the boys. I think we can persuade the Indians to get back on the warpath.
like people looking at my cards. I wasn't looking at your cards. Well, I don't like people sneaking up on me. I wasn't sneaking up on you. Jim? He's in the barn with Pa and Doc. Bill, if you're going to ride that next relay, you better have something to eat. Well, Linda, would you be a good girl and fetch me some food in the barn? Hey, Jim, I haven't got enough time. What's up, Bill? Plenty. 
The Indians are on the war path again. Uh oh. Linda! What you got there? Where are you taking it? It's food for Cody. He's in the barn. Well, all right, go ahead. But you tell Bill Cody that the next time he can have his meals inside like everybody else. Yes, Ma. I don't know who they were, but they sure did a good job of busting up that Indian village. You better hurry, Bill. Thanks, Linda. I'll bet that coyote knows who's at the bottom of this. Hey, who are you working for? Save your wind, Doc. A couple days without food, and you'll be glad to talk. That must be Haley. to that end in village when we got finished wasn't worth sweeping up. Did they get any of the boys? Oh, they shot a couple, but they'll man fast. Good work, Pecos. You and Denver are to be congratulated. Denver? He wasn't there. Where is he? I don't know. Didn't he stay in town? Have you boys seen him? No. Take a look around. I want to have a talk with him. I'll find him. This, Bill. The eastbound is long overdue. Uh, you don't have to worry about Scotty. He'll get through all right. I don't know, but those Indians on the warpath again. Just a minute, Bill. I've got a company dispatch for Ezra Graham. Here, Bill. Well, this is young Mr. Corby. Jeffy, this is Doc Laramie, Jim Archer, and Ezra Graham. How are you, Howdy. Sir? He had a rough time of it. The Indians killed his grandpa back on the trail. We'll have to see that he gets to Fort Manchester. Ezra, do you suppose Mark... Could... Why, sure. I'll take him in the house. Lindy and Ma look after him so we can get him to the fort. Thanks, Ezra. Say, we better get in and eat. This young one's probably hungry. I'll be right with you.
again. You ought to put a rope around his neck. I've got other plans. I'm taking him to Fort Manchester. Here. Bring that guy to wait. I just got a dispatch from the division. They're driving a herd of ponies along the trail, and they need our help. They're worried about the engine uprising. They don't want to lose them horses. I could show you some fresh ponies. I'll saddle the horses. You tie them up. to Nugget City looking like that. Well, I was just coming into change. Oh, all right. Hello, Sonny. Don't be afraid. Come on, sit down. Why are your hands tied? Oh, some of the fellas played a trick on me. Hey, how about helping me get loose, huh? If you'll help me, I'll give you a present. What kind of a present? A gold watch. All you have to do is cut this rope. It's right here in my pocket. How do I know you'll give it to me? It's right here in my pocket. Come on, listen to a tick. I want the watch first. Sure, go on, take it. Gee, thanks. That's all right. <laughs> How about cutting the rope, huh? You like it? That's nice.
important message is this outlaw taking from Graham? Has Archer's true identity been discovered by the outlaws? Be sure to see Cody Follows a Trail, the fourth action chapter of Cody of the Pony Express, at this theater next week. to warn Cody and her father that outlaws intend to raid horses being driven in for the Pony Express. But the outlaws have already stampeded the horses and... I'm going to take out after him. No, you're not. Let's get out of here fast before they find out who did start this damn feed. They turned tail. They're heading out. Ezra and Doc are going to have a tough time rounding up those horses. Jim, you stick with them. I'm going to follow the outlaws. Sure, I'm headed for town. I understand Black wants to see me. He's changed his mind. It's kind of sudden like, ain't it? Yeah, you're a hot potato around town. You better stick here for a while and cool off. I got a score to sell at Graham's Corner. Black doesn't want any more trouble. All right. I'll play it his way for now. I'll ride into town and tell him you're here. Ben, you and Dirk get mounted. If you're in a hurry, go ahead. I'll catch up with you.
he ought to have some town laws. I'll be glad to drop a code for you. Laws are good, Mr. Black. But to appoint a town marshal, too. Sandwich and a cup of coffee. You? Bring me the same. Town. Sometimes the wrong people get in. This proves my point that we need a town government. Lawlessness must be met firmly whenever it appears. It's about time that you three stopped gallivanting around the country. Work is piled up so high that artists quit. Ezra? You go clean out the barn. Laramie, you hitch up the wagon and drive your lazy bones to Nugget City. And Jim Archer, you got work to do up in the upper corral so all our stock don't get out. But more. Yes, I know. And when you get through cleaning out the barn, you come and lend a hand with me up at the house. With Linda gone to the fort with that boy, I need an extra hand there. <laughs> Martin Sparkless, he quit. Yeah, but we can. Not till we round up all the outlaws and their leaders. I thought you wanted to get rid of Pony Express riders. I do, but not in public. These town brawls are stupid and dangerous. I want no more of them, understand? Now pay attention. I've just received word there's a valuable shipment of jewelry coming through by stage bound for San Francisco. How'd you find that out? By a special messenger. Slim? Hey, this is Slim Randall. He's taking over Denver's place. Howdy. Hi. Where does that leave Denver? It leaves him out. He's getting a bit too famous for our company. How about the stage? It's taking a new route, east of Graham's. What route? I don't know, but Graham should, being the agent. Denver wants to go to Graham's and square things. Let him. As long as it doesn't interfere with our main plan. Slim can go along and see that Denver doesn't make any more mistakes. All right, I'll saddle up a fresh horse. We'll pick up the boys at Rock Springs. You and Denver can go to Graham's. We'll meet you at the North Fort. There's one I'm going to settle with. Give me time to get to Graham's first and find out about the stage. Yeah, sure.
the gun. Good work, Cody. He's our killer. Too bad we have to go to the trouble of turning him over to the law. partner shot at. I don't know. There may be others around. They might start trouble at Grant. We better get there in a hurry.
take cover. box full of jewelry, but we lost two good men. Oh, the box is too heavy to carry. I'll ride to Graham's and get the wagon. I'll be right back. Oh, shut up. What's that Indian doing here? We got him between here and Nugget. He's an army scout. Did he have a message on him? Yeah, let me have it. Here. Don't you think you ought to take that to Black before you open it? Well, yes, I'll take it to him. We'll both take it to him. Stampede of the ponies, I trailed them to a box of candy. There was a guard who had a gun inside. I waited till two of them came out and then followed them to Nugget City. Did they meet anybody in Nugget City? Not that I saw. They started getting rough with me, but Mr. Black stopped them. Sounds like a small local outfit to me. Maybe, maybe not. We're riding to Nugget City to find out. I'm going with you. Hey, you able to get by from Pony Express? Ken, why don't you fix it so I can work with you all the time? a good idea. It's an army message in code. Then what good is it? Plenty. It means the army has a secret agent here in the territory. We must find out who he is. Well, we'll sweat the Indian. You can't make an Indian talk, but he will come in handy to bait a trap. Slim, you're a man of ideas as well as of action. Plant that Indian along the South Trail, where he won't be hard to find. Have him covered by some of your best men, then spread the news around town. Too bad we couldn't read that message. Saved us a lot of trouble. I don't need a code book to know what's troubling the Army. You mean those rifles? Yes, they should have been here yesterday. Don't worry about it. They'll be here.
Richie. I'll strike it rich one of these days, and I'll pay you back a hundred times. You beg me for a grub steak, I give. Yesterday you leave. Voila. Today you are back. I decided it wasn't healthy to go prospecting alone. Always you go alone. What changed your mind? An engine I came across in Brush Canyon. He was hurt. Bad. Said he had a message. Maybe he's an army scout. Did you take the message? Not me. I don't aim to mess in government matters. There was nothing I could do for him, so I cleared out. Then another thing. That's just like the Army, interrupting your work to come in for a palaver. Maybe it'll fit right in with our plan, but not with ours. You walked right into it, didn't you? Into what? A trap set for Army spies. Too bad you didn't catch them. We did. Rifles out. We'll have to be careful about it. 
No telling who may be watching us. We could get somebody to haul them. Yes. Somebody like Graham, for instance. There's no sign of your men anywhere. Ma will be wild. He's wild anyhow. They're taking advantage of you, Pop. I only pay him what they're worth. Well, they certainly couldn't live on that. I'll take another look around town. If they don't show up, we'll head back alone. How do you figure Graham could haul those rifles for us? That's easy. He'll be hired to haul a load of hay. Pickles can do the rest. I'll handle it. I don't think Pickles is feeling so good. this load of hay. There's no livestock down at Kirk's place. You're right. The gent that hired me has just taken it over and he's going to put in a few heads. And as long as he's paid me for this falling, I don't care if he eats it himself. What was that? Start walking. You heard what he said. Start walking. Right Doc, you stay with the folks. Cody, let's ride. It's no use attracting too much attention. We'll take the mountain road. that new blasting powder we brought along. What's your idea? We'll blow the top of that cliff off in the pass. That'll block the road we came up, and it's miles around. Just in case somebody's following us. has Ezra Graham encountered. Will the outlaws succeed in getting the rifles to the Indians? See what happened in The Fatal Arrow, Chapter 6 of Cody of the...
capture Trailly outlaws who've stolen army rifles. At a mountain pass, the outlaws discover the pursuit and move to stop it. train's all right. We can take the rifles to the hideout now. Nobody hurt, but a couple of wagons got busted up. Those outlaws sent that blast to keep us from following. And they've headed north. If we ride circle, we can still cut their trail. All right. The Grams are back in town. Slim must have got the rifle through. You can learn by his example, Pecos. It ain't my fault because I had bad luck. I want you and Slim to get along, understand? I ain't gonna do anything. Well, I bet you don't. Join Slim at Dry Creek. Help him turn those rifles over to the Indians. Let them know where they came from. We can use their help. Use the back way. Have some pie and coffee. I wouldn't walk another step if I was starving. Oh, well, suit yourself. Well, I thought it'd be smarter to lead him into a trap. You don't want to get hurt, do you, Pegasus? Herb, Finn, go get him. Yeah, it is. There's at least four men with it. Get closer. 
You thieving renegades. Put him in the lane to and tie him up. Well, I'm going to get away with it. I'll get Cody after you find out. Come on, Cody. Let's go. Come on, Cody. Let's go. Let's go. We'll take those guns to the Indians. You two coyotes will get your kids tried to get us doing this. Don't you forget it. up here unless we can get to the horses. Let's move. Glad you dropped in. <laughs> no joke. Uh, Come on. They're not falling. They're scared as I was. Come on, Cody. Let's go. About me, I'm all right. The outlaws is taking them rifles to the engine. We gotta prevent that. Come on. Are yours if Keep you... out of this. I'll handle it my own way. We give Ray Cloud rifle. A white man wants the rifle. Well, you hunt buffalo. They make good warriors out of your tribe. You give rifle what nothing? We're your friends, Gray Cloud. Here, take them. Come. Take rifles from the wagon. Go back to your warriors. Say, what am I going to do for a horse? Let him drive the wagon. He won't need a horse. Take his. Oh, you.
driving the wagon away, and three outlaws are coming through the brush. What do we do? Well, if we tangle with the outlaws now, the Indians will get away with the rifle. We might as well head back to town. What about Pecos? He'll have to learn to take care of himself. You know me, I'm Jim Archer. The rifles in that wagon belong to the army. They were stolen by the men who gave them to you. If that's true, me no want them. Come with us to Graham's Corners and we'll hold a friendly council. Rifle to soldiers. It's good talk. Now there will be peace instead of trouble. Great cloud want peace for his people.
fresh track. but he was kind of careless. To find its owner, we'll have the man that killed that Indian. Ray Cloud, I am sad that your journey ended in sorrow. We're going to find the man who owns it, and when we do, we're going to turn him over to the law. Good. When Doc Laramie gets back, tell him we've gone to Nugget City. If he ever gets back. Hmm. You'd think he was a general the way he gives orders around here. Well, he is no general. He's just a, uh, just a little too big for his britches. Well, I'll thank you to remind him that he's just a hired hand around here. He handles tobacco, too. Right. Hey, what's this all about? Come along, find out. Gentlemen, what will you have? I'd like to have a little information, sir. Ask me anything. You sell the back? Sure. What kind do you like? I don't like any kind. You know who owns it? What belongs to that one over there? Thanks, Prince. Does it belong to you? Yes, it does. Prove it. A dozen people know that's mine. But I want to know. It was lost near Graham by a killer. You're a liar. You can't pin anything on me. Thank you, sir. 
in trouble again. Where? Over at Frenchy's. some men to guard him. We'll guard him. You stand for the United States Marshal. Very well. There's another door inside. It leads to the store. Check with the storekeeper. Make sure it's locked. tough spot. So are you. I know that. He wouldn't hesitate to involve me if he could. Are you sending for the marshal? What do you think? That door is locked from the store side. Good. Hey, what are you up to? I don't think Blank's going to send for the marshal. Don't you trust him? I don't trust anybody, but I... No, we can't stand guard here in Denver. Well, what else can we do? We'll take our prisoner to the fort for safekeeping. Uh, Mr. Black won't like that. He's thinking on holding court. Mr. Black won't know anything about it. Besides, he has no legal right to object. I'll go get a wagon from the livery stable. We must get Pecos out of jail, then get rid of him. That'll take a little doing. What's the matter? Lost your nerve? You know better than that. He gave me a wagon to use. Better saddle the horses and be ready to move. You're not planning on pulling out before dark, are you? If we wait till dark, we may run into trouble. Besides, Pecos has friends in town. That'll be the time for him to start something. Yeah, I never thought of that. Better hurry. Have the boys stand by. Tonight, our self-appointed guardians of the peace might become careless. Yeah? I know the jig is up, and I wonder if you'd do me one last favor. What is it? I want my brother to have this watch. Where do I find it? Hank, the waiter over at French knows where to find it. All right. So let me take it over. I never did get a chance to eat. All right. to take this over to his brother. His brother? Oh, that's what he said. Oh, yes, yeah, his brother. You catch on kind of quick, don't you? Say, and I want some pie and sandwiches for about six people. Six people? Get out. But the Frenchy, I, I'm hungry. Get out, I said. Brodo, this table would be sandwiches. Get out. Should I have had anything to eat? What's the matter? Don't you know where to find Pecos's brother? Pecos hasn't got any brother. I'll let Black figure it out. He's supposed to be the brains of this outfit. Pecos must be trying to tell us something. It couldn't be the time. This is what just stopped. No wonder it wouldn't run. Archer taking me to the fort. 
Get me out or I talk. We can stop him. Why stop him? This is perfect. What do you mean? Why, it's easy. Get a hold of the boys. trouble at Graham's Corners? Are the attacks on the Pony Express to continue? Be sure to see Renegade Raiders, Chapter 8 of Cody of the... at this theater next week.